Alright, tell them big exhibition coming up this weekend. Uh, what are your thoughts on what your team could get out of it? And what do you think about the matchups? Well, you know, not to be uh, one of those coaches that is just trying to motivate his team, but if we play like we did last night, we'll get our butts kicked. I mean, this team is the deepest, best team I've seen in a while. Deepest. I mean, like 12 deep. And uh, we played them last year, so we know about them. Very well coached. But they've got a lot back. And uh, they're a physical team, so we have to rebound better. I don't know what happened on that, but I did love how hard we played on the film. I mean, that first half, it was off the charts. And the ball movement was really good. The second half, I think we started playing the, the score a little bit, which is human, even though I hate to admit it. But uh, this team we're playing is definitely a top five team preserving up their ranking. Tom, do you do any tinkering there at all, or is it all about trying to win in this game? You know, it's funny, because Rick and I are going to talk tonight. Um, tinkering, I mean, it's not about just trying to win. I mean, I, I, if it was closed, I think it would definitely, I would do some other things, maybe, both of us. But being open, as the game goes on, both teams will want to win and TV and all the things. But I got to get some things done, too. I mean, I, I got to get some guys' chance. I was, our freshmen last night, they were dead tired after three minutes, you know. And I told them the day before, but all of them said, it's the way it's going to be. And uh, some of them believed me, some of them didn't, but that's the way it was. So I think the second game, they'll be better, too, as far as uh, just not as hyped up and everything, you know, even though the game will be bigger and the crowd will be bigger and all the things will be bigger. Uh, I think those guys will be better. And, and then, uh, you know, I think our, our upper class from lost a little focus in the second half. And uh, so I don't think I'm going to tinker a lot. I think I'm going to try to get the rotation down a little bit better. Is that what you mean by get things done? To sort of figure out? Yeah, 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 I got to figure out and they got to figure it out, you know. Those things will be determined by them, you know. I, I did promise, I said, I don't care what you ranked, I don't care what you did last year. Um, I haven't won enough games for the way this program is in the last couple of years. So I'm not worried about anybody's feelings. I'm worried about production. And uh, production is something you control. Um, and that's the way I'm going to look at it. Tom, if I can ask you to take your coaching hat off for a second, I got a question for Steven's dad. Yeah. There's a great clip on social media with him going two for two, and uh, the look you have is priceless. Can you talk about what that was like and uh, going into your son's senior season? Well, you know, I'm a lot back in the house. My wife left me in the house. I've been out for three years now, so uh, sleeping in the garage. But I, I think um, what it was, AJ, you know, AJ, you know, struggled with some things, and he's been he's been really great. But with four minutes left, coach, you got to get Nick and Steven in there. You know? And AJ really fueled a lot of that fire. And uh, I'm a little mad at AJ because he's the one who told him to shoot it as soon as you get it. So that first shot he took ruined my three point percentage, and I almost benched him because of it. But it was fun to see him have some fun. But it was more fun to see the fans and what they thought and my players and what they thought. And I think that's the cool thing about being part of a team. And uh, that meant a lot to me. Great, thank you. What are you looking forward to with these, with your backcourt against their backcourt? I think they added a couple transfer, transfers. They, they added uh, a lot of people. I mean, uh, and now, they, now I say that, they had a couple guys that were sitting out. Yeah. One of the transfers is the assistant coach's son who came, you know. So, I mean, it was all in a good way. And, uh, but they, they are worthy of everything they're ranked. And uh, the back courts will be good, the front courts are going to be good, and the wings are going to be good. So um, our biggest problem now is they have so many different pieces. It's figuring out who's going to start, because I'm not even sure they know, um, and then who's going to play the most, and at what position are they going to play. And that's the, the part of this that's a little harder than normal. It's harder to get a scouting report on them 
and we do a lot according to our scouting reports. So, as they probably do too, but uh, it'll be some of it we'll have to play as we go, and that, that's good too. With so 